it seems like it's been all Ateneo mm -hmm. in and the past two sets. And even here in set number three, they're, they're still ahead by one. That's right. And, you know, the pattern still has not changed where Adamson still is. Keep, uh, you know, siling humahabol sa pace ng Ateneo. Eh. So far, we haven't seen Adamson really dictating the pace in any of the sets that they played. And nabanggit natin to kanina, Anne. It was Hervaso who delivered the blow. Nung dumidikit ang Adam, so now it was kainglet. And it was just a one-point lead kanina. Ngayon, balik sa dalawa ang kalamangan ng Ateneo. So whenever they need something, a crucial point of the match, they get it. That's right. But you know, that last, uh, looking at Pineda there, great elevation on her attack. Take a look at that again. Ito sinasabi na, no? How uh, explosive her jump is. The elevation that she gets when uh, she goes for an attack. Hervasho plays setter. Too much angle, but still Kainglet able to deliver. Guevara. Wow. That might really an advantage for somebody like Faye Guevara. And Guevara, of course, gaining confidence. We mentioned her in the second set, how, uh, how uh, she has gained confidence when it comes to attacking. And it's something that uh, she's bringing on here until the third set. Now we're tied 15 all. The first time we're tied in the middle part of the set. But again, Ateneo delivers with Jam Ferrer or Jam Ferrer getting the point and a one point lead for Ateneo 16 15 in set number three. The Lady Eagles sitting comfortably ahead. Well, not comfortably, but at least they're sitting on top of Adamson here in set number three, like how they've always been in the past two sets. There's the Jam Ferrer tip on the second touch to put Ateneo at 16, Adamson 15, set number three, Ateneo on top two sets to nothing. One of the driving forces of the Ateneo offense, Jam Ferrer. Getting the best of Makatuno here today, but like but they say, it's not over until it's actually over. And Makatuno can still you know, have a say in this third set and extend Adamson's chances of getting a win here. But Guevara with a double touch there. Two touches, called on Guevara. Away. Service. Nice serve from Gretchen Ho. Here comes Pineda. Oh, Pineda getting that one in. Just like a replica of the last attack she made. Pretty much the same position, same hit, and same ending. Good form as well for uh, Pineda. This is very important how, uh, you know, they keep their score very close with Ateneo here in the third set. Pineda. Here comes Hervasha from the back row, gets it straight to the net, and we're tied at 17. Hervasha unprepared for that uh, back row attack. We are tied at 17, Maria Teresa Pisa. To serve. Adamson looking to go ahead here. They've never led at this stage of any set. And they continue to fail to do so. Ateneo back on top, 18-17. Unlikely, but the Adamson defense really being challenged by uh, the attackers or the offense of Ateneo, even their reception. Vasquez with an easy over for Ateneo. Nakachi. Soriano, the tip. Yes. Neck and neck battle in set number three, 18 all. Difficult set, difficult shot. And Adamson. 18 all. Poor reception from Hervasho, unforced error. And now, Lady Falcons lead for the first time in the latter stage of a set against Ateneo, 19-18. Let's listen to Coach Goraev. 
manghuhula tayo. Tingnan mo, ito, importante yan, Jem, yung setting mo, importante yan eh. Ha? Ito na, chance ball. Alam mo, chance ball eh. Binigay sa'yo yung bola. Tumalun ka ron, tapos tutulak mo lang yung bola. Eh, may tutulak, chance ball nga eh. Pag kaganyan, hindi inin nyo eh. Wala nga eh, chance ball tayo, uupensa tayo pa yung parang takot pumalo dyan. Kasi talo nyo yung bola, lumamang na yan kami mas Awfully concerned is Coach Gorayeb and, you know, with due reason. I mean, we're not talking about any team here. We're talking about Adamson. That's and right. now, if you, if you start giving them confidence, they just might overwhelm Ateneo in a very crucial stage of set number three. That's right. And I think um, in that huddle, no, hindi naman skill yung uh, nire remind the uh, Coach Roger. It's more of their attitude inside the court mm -hmm. where he expects them to be more aggressive. Dalta nga naman, free ball. Dapat nasa kanila yung, uh, yung, uh, yung pagka-aggressive or mas matapang and uh, mas, uh, mas malakas na palo yung hinihingi niya. Valdez trying to knock it away pero Adamson, their defense much, much better here in this rally. Soriano kept alive by Kainglet. Here's Valdez. Oh, Soriano. Oh. One of the smartest plays all season long. Credit the defense of Adamson also. He really scrambling for the ball. And the presence of mind of Soriano. She was really close to the net. And the only thing she could do was really to drop the ball over. And also, there was no other choice for her when it comes to degree of difficulty. If she if she went a little wide that time, makukuha ni ka yun. Wow, Pineda has been playing superb defense. Oh, but that time around, Pineda unable to cope with the speed and the pace of that shot. But Adamson with a slim lead, 19 serving 20. Soriano. What a block from Valdez. Excellent blocking. And dito na, no? Kanina Coach Roger was asking for uh, them to be aggressive. And uh, instantly you see them back at the same pace uh, that they uh, played in the previous sets. We have a timeout. Let's listen to Adamson. Okay, handa dyan, handa dyan. Handa dyan, handa dyan. Isang maganda receive. Kunin ninyo yung third set. Jampong! Galaw Jampong! Huwag kang matangini dyan! Kailangan tapang sipag! Okay? Mami Dulce can't stress enough how important this, the next plays are gonna be. Tied at 20 all. And Adamson down two sets to nothing. It's, you know, winner go home for them. For Ateneo. Ferrer. Better reception, Soriano. Soriano. She gets the point. 21-20, Adamson. If you're a coach, ganun yung gusto mo, eh, no? Coming from a timeout, coming from a huddle, you see that instantly they execute what you're asking them to do. And tapang yung hinihingi ni Mami Dulce, and yun ang binigay ng Adamson as uh, Ferrer gets the advantage over the overreach. taller net players of Adamson. They're, they're called for an overreach, Soriano. So 21 all, can't get any tighter. And more tension filled in this, in the main event this Saturday afternoon. Soriano in a combination. Valdez. No touch there on the side of Adamson. Both teams are going exclusively to the high percentage players. Ateneo almost exclusively to Valdez, while Adamson almost exclusively to Paul Soriano. Which is currently the smart move or the right uh, thing to do, I suppose, because they get the score and what you want is makauna ka over the other team. Oh, a lucky break for Ateneo. Ferrer just dropping for that ball, trying to deceive. 
know, without the intention of really getting it, tinalunan lang niya eh, just to deceive uh, Adamson. Was an easy ball coming the way of the Lady Falcons. They couldn't get it. We're tied 22 all. Makatuno. Guevara, yes! Guevara has been very consistent in this match. Revelations that we have today, Guevara. Very aggressive there in the middle with just a single blocker there. Zapanta, short serve. Kainglet, Vasquez, beautiful dig. Pineda. Oh! And here comes Adamson coming alive in set number three, and they are at set point 24 22. Ateneo calls a timeout. Let's listen in. Hey, they're not going to get out of the way. They're not going to get out of the way. So, what do you think? Why are you going to get out of the way? They're not going to get out of the way. They're not going to get out of the way. They're not going to get out of the way. They're not going to get out of the way. They're not going to get out of the way. Nalilito kayo. Alam niyo na kung anong gagawin nila. Papasok yan. Ito, dalawa lang naman ang pagbibigay. Ano pa kinalilito ninyo? Ay, yung mga depensa dito sa likod. Humanap na lang bukas. Guys, talaga! And I clearly irate Coach Gorayev. Not happy with the lapses in, you know, defensive arrangement para sa Ateneo in the last few plays mm -hmm. and of course yun nga, sabi natin, they came into this game with a goal and the, you know that goal is to uh, end the game in straight sets pero pagdating dito nakikita mo medyo na rattle ng konti yung Ateneo in the third set not a very pleasant sight to see for uh, coach Roger an easy and safe serve from Zapanta poor reception Ateneo free ball Adamson Makatuno they go to Pineda it is rejected, but saved by Zapanta Pineda again. Twice denied. Guevara, that one's picked up. And Kainglet keeps Adeneo's hopes alive in set number three. Ateneo saving one set point. 23-24. Vasha going for a sure serve. Ooh, that is just long. And point Ateneo 24 all. Adamson players in disbelief, but nobody challenges the call. This would be a sorry loss for Adamson if they do lose the third set. So two set points saved by the Lady Eagles. Pineda, oh. though. Pineda doing an excellent job for the Lady Falcons and that's the kind of aggressiveness that you want to see in a player, talagang uh, fighter. And yun yung sinabi ni Mami Dulce, tapang ang kailangan ko and that's what Sheila Pineda is delivering. Set point again, Adamson. Ferrer, Kainglet. Great defense by Pineda. Pineda doing a good job, not just in offense but also in defense. Pineda picks that one up again. They go back to Pineda. Pineda doing everything here. And she delivers the winning blow in set number three, keeping Adamson in this match. As while everybody was already counting them out, Lady Falcons believe in, in themselves. And we have a set four coming up after Adamson winning 26-24, set number three.